Good morning, folks. We have our first look at an active galactic nucleus in both radio waves and X-rays. There's major weather, big Mars news, plasma universe hits, and one of our own deserves major applause. Let's get going at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, exceedingly calm given the apparent power of the bright active region and its umbral magnetic fields. But there's no solar flaring at all. The plasma filaments dancing around the limbs are providing the most aesthetically interesting motions over the last day you see here in 304 angstroms. Coming back to the sunspot, though, it's surrounded by plenty of surface magnetism and field connections, but there are not actually sunspots accompanying it, not any proper ones anyway, hence no solar flares. The solar wind maintained its variability, but did so at relatively similar intensities, which allowed a quick adjustment in Earth's magnetic field to halt the instabilities now in excess of 24 hours. From space to snow. I watched that cyclone bomb out and begin a multi-hour blizzard over the Rockies that touched 11 states and will continue today. More cold and snow records are falling and more are in jeopardy here three weeks into spring. Looking at a four-day forecast, late after sunset tonight, the convergence line shooting southward towards the Gulf will light up severe, but as it moves out as Friday progresses, a monster is brewing in Texas. Another snow event for the northwest sides of the low, but major severe weather potential inside and ahead on the leading eastern front. Eyes open for that this weekend. Going next to seismicity, six pointers struck just a few hours ago in Japan. They can handle six pointers fairly well, luckily. So now we come to it. One of the big news yesterday was the release of the first image of a black hole, an active galactic nucleus. The subject is a radio galaxy named M87 which we look down on largely from the axis of rotation, but tilted just enough for us to still see the cosmic jet. Let's go ahead and zoom way, way in. To capture the photo, Alma did the equivalent of zooming into a period in a sentence on a piece of paper from the moon. Fractions of a Hubble pixel. And looking down onto the polar region of the nucleus, we see darkness. And what they are calling the accretion disk is not really a disk. It is not diffuse and almost certainly is the plasma torus around the central galactic object. A quick look in x-rays from about 10 times weaker zoom shows the non-homogeneous interior of the galaxy, which would produce either a warped and non-homogeneous accretion disk, or would in fact have it spread considerably further than the image we got. Recall that the national labs have said that these cosmic jets are axial current and helical fields around them, always with a plasma torus around the center. That's the primary mislabeled item in that picture, and a mind bender as well for you here. They still want to call a black hole a singularity point in space with no volume. But if two singularities collide head on, the distance between their centers has a limit approaching zero, which scales force to infinity and speed to infinity, violating the laws of science used to create the idea of a black hole in the first place. Got that? Moving on. To support the concepts of the National Labs and SOFIA, we have excellent examples of magnetic fields wrapping around filamentary clouds. This is critical because to have such homogeneous perpendicular character, there must be a current in the middle. Whether it is covert or the filament itself is a slow current is unclear, and it really doesn't matter. Fields drive formations, not gravitational collapse. We're going next to Mars, where the best subsurface water map has been delivered, showing shallow ices, larger deposits, and they say the two high-content anomalies on the equator may actually be the former poles of the planet, meaning it had a geographic pole shift in history. Quick share here, as yet another scientist appears to be jumping on board the Oumuamua ET space probe concept. If this wasn't getting so popular and so much agreement from professors, I'd be ignoring it. But if you want to read it, it's linked below. Can you believe our top story is still to come? Folks, for those of you who don't know, young observer Ferris Wald won the New Mexico State Science Fair, the National Middle School Science Championship, and now, in the Google World Championships, he is advancing. As one of the top 100 students on the planet, Ferris has once again earned the top honors in the state of New Mexico, which propels him into the next round. The study is about X-ray solar flares and tropical cyclones. More updates and information on how to support him is coming up in the following weeks. Congratulations again, young observer Ferris Wald of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 425 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.